Jason from League OTO here with Michael Kagan at the EDC Capsule event. So Michael, uh, can you tell us a little bit about Spot Racing and how it came about? Um, the first collab that we did with, with, uh, with Pharrell and BBC was in 2013. And uh, since then, a lot has happened with my career. And uh, we have a book coming out. A book is officially coming out November 19th. But um, Pharrell wrote the forward to it. I just had a museum show open in Virginia. It's my first museum show. Um, the museum's in the same hometown where I'm from and where Sproul's from. So it's kind of like the perfect coming together of our, So the collab was always kind of in the works the past like year or so, but we wanted to make sure it came out now with the book and with the museum show. Your work uh, from our community is, is unmistakable. The very deliberate brush strokes, right. uh, the textures, uh, the the way that it deteriorates when you walk up close to it, but actually uh, it, it forms into a very cohesive image uh, when you back up. So tell us a little bit more about that style and how it came out. I appreciate that because you nailed it. But um, it's like, um, like, I feel like technique should be something that happens like naturally, but I also think you should paint to your strengths. So with the way I paint, um, you know, I didn't think, you know, this way that I paint kind of came together naturally through like being in the studio every day. And then um, slowly and slowly and slowly, you just realize your strengths and what you're comfortable with in the process of painting. And then like if it happens organically, that's how you have style. It's like the way you dress. Like if you really overthink it and overdo it, it's going to look like you overdid it. Sure. But if you just kind of let your style develop naturally, one day you're gonna realize, hey, like even if you just wear like, like both of you and I are wearing black t-shirts, but that's part of our style. It's just that, it's natural. Absolutely, yeah. great. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the future projects you have coming up? Sure, so, um, I mean, this collab I thought was great because like I just said, right after the museum show, um, we're doing a couple different book launches in New York over the next couple months. And then I have a solo show with a uh, OTI gallery in Hong Kong sure. that's gonna open during Basel, which is a good week to open. And then um, Basel, Hong Kong in March uh, 2020. So right now that's what I'm working on the studio. And then um, we have a couple different print editions that will be coming out over the next month or two and um, just stuff like that. Awesome. And can you tell us a little bit about the book? Um, you know, uh, what, uh, what does this mean to you at, in this point in your career? I mean, the book, the book was, the book was like secondary to my museum show because the museum said you want to do a book. Sure. And then um, I, you know, I just want to be focused on painting in the studio. So I got them to hire an outside editor, Todd Bradway, and he pitched it to DAP Art Book, which is the biggest art book publishing distribution company in the world. And um, they got on board. Pharrell got on board. Um, we got the book published. So instead of printing 400 books for a museum gift store or shop, we now have printed 4,000 books that are distributed worldwide, and we have text by Bill Powers, Matthew Israel, like Pro wrote the forward, like I said twice already. Um, so we have this like incredible uh, monograph of 10 years of work that the reproduction is like spot on, and it's incredible. It like it became like it became like equal with um my museum show. It didn't become like something secondary. It became like just as important as my museum show. And you know, now it's available or pre-order on Amazon. It's gonna go, it's going places. I'm really excited about it. That's amazing. We are, uh, we're really happy for you. Uh, thank you for allowing us to be thank you. a part you of the launch. Great. Super excited. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing more of your work in the future. And okay. yeah, thank you for your continued support. Nice.